Good evening. I think this may fall into the provocation bracket. Um, recently, I got to spend a few days over in Aberystwyth, where I was able, in the mornings and evenings, to walk along the front to watch the starlings leaving and returning to their roost beneath the pier. I've become a bit obsessed with starlings. Their murmurations are one of the great natural phenomena. Shoals of birds in the tens of thousands, are enough to turn the whole sky dark, twisting and convulsing. Individuals, but acting in concert, acting as a single form. You can only imagine how those displays must once have been. Starling is, of course, now being on the red list, their numbers having fallen by some two-thirds over the past 40-odd years. In um, 2021, I had to write a defence statement for a trial here in London, having been arrested as part of an action with Extinction Rebellion. Um, to help make my case, I chose some quotes by some of the most establishment mainstream figures I could think of. One of them was from Sir David Attenborough, speaking four years ago uh, this month. It may sound frightening, but the scientific evidence is that if we have not taken dramatic action within the next decade, we could face irreversible damage to the natural world and the collapse of our societies. Let's be clear, we are not taking that dramatic action. We haven't meaningfully even begun. Globally, greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise, natural habitats to be destroyed. Let's be clear as well, the climate and ecological emergency is not ultimately a scientific problem. Ultimately, it is a symptom of our profoundly dysfunctional relationship with the natural world. Ultimately, it is about who we are. All of which leads me at least to ask, why do we write? Or, as Jay Griffiths would have it, what are we writing in service of? In the um, epilogue of this book, San Helen, I found myself writing this. The fact is that our future depends on a transformation without peacetime precedent, a reinvention of our society and economy around completely different principles. It struck me later on that for that word principles, I might equally have used the word stories. Stories by and of every one of us. And yet again, I find myself asking, why do we write? If we're not interrogating that relationship with the natural world, if we're not seeking to lead in the telling of those stories, then what is the point of a writer? So here's an idea with some wild aspects. To write today is to collaborate. The idea of the solitary writer, that occasionally heroic figure, that is an idea of the Holocene. It is an idea with no application now in the Anthropocene in the face of this greatest ever threat. To write today is to contribute to the wider movement that is trying to put the climate and ecological emergency at the heart of our culture because that is the reality of who we are. 
because that is where it needs to be. In the end, it is all about this movement, this collection of people, of individuals acting in concert, acting as a single form. So I think that's why I've become obsessed with starlings. A murmuration is the shape of hope. Jochen van Leeuwen, thank you very much.